I'm Carla, the final year medical student. I'm going to make a, a series of videos uh, on model presentations, model case presentations in pediatrics. This is a short case presentation, it's going to give us up to the effect. So let's begin. I examine this young boy's uh, cardiovascular system. He's well looking. Uh, I, he seems to be adequately grown, but I would like to uh, measure his height and weight and plot in a growth center chart and assess growth. He's not pale, with no central, no or peripheral synapses. Um, he has no um, ankle edema, no finger clubbing, no um, splinter hem hemorrhages. His pulse volume is good and rate is normal and not tachycardic. On the precordial examination, there is no surgical scars, no chest deformities, no visible pulsations on the precordial. On palpation, there is a thrill on the left lower sternal edge and uh, apex was on the uh, left side in the fifth intercostal space in the clavicular line. There was no tender hepatomegaly. There was a loud pansystolic murmur in the uh, lower external edge in the left side, the grade 4 murmur, no radiation, second heart sound uh, was not loud and there was no bivasal crepitations in both lung fields. So my diagnosis is a congenital asynotic heart disease, probably a ventricular septal defect uh, without evidence of um, in infective endocarditis, heart failure or pulmonary hypertension. I would like to confirm my diagnosis with 2D echocardiogram and then uh, for further management I would like to uh, arrange clinic follow-up in pediatric cardiology clinic and then uh, I will advise the par parents uh, regarding the diagnosis and the management and about and I will inform I'll educate them about subacute bacterial endocarditis prophylaxis associated with chest infections, progressive heart failure and infective endocarditis might have to go for a surgical intervention. Thank you.